So hello guys, so we are here to discover and explore agricultural and biosystems engineering. Agricultural and biosystems engineering are uniquely qualified to use their knowledge in mathematics, biological and physical sciences, and engineering principles to solve problems relating to production, handling, and processing of biological materials for food, feed, fiber, and fuel, and the preservation of natural resources and environment quality and the design and production of machine system. Hence, agricultural and biosystems engineering address society's grand challenges in food, water, and energy. So, to know more about agricultural and biosystems engineering, let us have an interview to selected agricultural engineers working here in the Philippines. I graduated from Mindanao State University, General Santo City. So when did you pass the board examination? Two months after. Yes, two months after. June 2014. I am currently working here, Philippine Coconut Authority, Sarangani Jensen Operations. I plan, I implement, and monitor, and also evaluate municipality-wide uh, industry development programs under under the office. I also provide technical assistance to cooperatives that engage in coconut farming. I also conduct information dissemination to update the farmers regarding the, 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 the about coconut technology. So, Kuis, where did you graduate? So, I graduated here in Mindanao State University. Oh, so nice. I passed last year, uh, September 2018. I am currently working at Century Pacific Agricultural Ventures Incorporated. So basically, I prepare uh, necessary documents inspected by organic external auditors as well as we monitor the coconut deliveries from farm side to the plant. So hello, Baya. Will you please introduce yourself? I'm Christina J. Tomaro, 23 years old. So last year, I graduated from Mindanao State University, General Santos City. So after two months, uh, we took up the board exam in August, uh, in the month of August, and uh, uh, August 26, uh, the result came, and luckily I passed the board exam. Currently, I am working at Revive Crop Tech Incorporated, a uh, sister company of Biotech Farms Incorporated. So right now, my job description is I am the data analyst in the Pulse Department, the Planning and Analytics Department. Injir, can you give us some tips and advice for those students who are taking up agriculture and biosystems engineering? First, the willingness to learn, uh, open-mindedness, uh, positive attitude, and learn if you... Uh, halimbawa, hindi nyo pa gusto yung course nyo ngayon. Learn to love it because uh, in the end, ma-appreciate nyo gina siya. I have three points to share. First, always become the better version of yourself compared to yesterday. Second, never rely on others. Rely on yourself and rely on to God. And third, always believe in the saying, faith without action is useless. At the same time, faith uh, no, uh, at the same time, work without faith is still useless. So always uh, incorporate faith and action so that you become excellent in everything you do. My advice is uh, first, you need to study hard. Next is, if possible, do some group study. Uh, it's enjoyable and it creates memories, good memories. Number three is practice solving problems often because it will really help you a lot. And last is study in advance. In foreign trivia here in the Philippines, agricultural engineers call each other Bayao, and we also have Bayao Handshake. 